Next, we want to talk about congestive heart failure with preserved or reduced ejection fraction. And this question, when you read the code in clinic yourself, will realize has been, has been reformatted to make it a little more visible, a little more readable. But if a physician documents heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, HFPEF, preserved systolic function, or alternatively, reduced ejection fraction, HFREF, low ejection fraction, reduced systolic function, or reduced diastolic function, or other similar terms, can the coder assume the physician means diastolic heart failure or systolic heart failure respectively and assign the ICD-9 code um, based on documented clinical circumstances? And one of the things I want to point out is I just happen to think that coding clinics wants as another educational point to make us aware that there are a new collection of abbreviations being used to um, talk about um, different kinds of congestive heart failure. Um, but here, in fact, is the answer. And you would expect this any time coding clinic uses the word, can the coder assume anything? And the answer, of course, is no, the coder cannot assume anything. The coder can never assume an answer without explicit documentation. And here, it's because either diastolic or systolic failure or a combination of both must be documented. Therefore, one must query the provider to clarify whether the patient has diastolic or systolic heart failure. 